Hey y'all, I have not freaking ever vlogged with my actual camera. So you're in for a cinematic fucking treat tonight, literally. Just kidding, this is gonna be a shit show probably, but we are gonna hang out. It is literally 6.01 p.m. I just put my son down, waiting for him to fall asleep. Looks like he's almost there. And we're gonna hang out and do a little spin my six to 10 with me. You know how people do those like my seven to nine before work or my six to nine after work. Well, we're doing my six to 10 after my work day of taking care of my son. Um, so yeah, let's hang out y'all. First things first, I have barely eaten today. I have had one breakfast burrito and coffee so that's really bad that is really bad i am not encouraging y'all to not eat please fucking eat i am literally starving i just got back from my in-laws house my future in-laws jake is still over there because they're going to a turkey shoot tonight and i could have went but i just i don't know how remy will do with all the pew 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 going on I have a feeling he's probably not gonna like it because he already does not like really loud sounds um over here my little ninja blender he literally hates it I try to make smoothies and he absolutely loses his shit he just does not like the sound so I have a good feeling he's probably not gonna like the the guns going off so I just came home which is fine letting Jake have his good time and I don't know what I'm really gonna do I mean there's a lot to do around here but I don't have a specific list because if I just show y'all my house I know y'all don't judge me let's just show you what it is so we have plenty of dishes to do plenty of crap on the counters you know there is crumbs all over the floor from where my son ate earlier I, I don't even want to talk about all the crap going on in here it is what it is i'll have to explain what's going on in here we're trying to get this area baby prepped so it's kind of a disaster zone y'all but I got some food in the crock pot that I made a couple days ago. This is just like the leftovers I'm warming up. It's chicken thighs, potatoes, and carrots. So I'm about to make me a big bowl of this. It's not fully warmed up. So yes, I am putting it in the microwave because I am too impatient to wait. Gotta move the... 50 million things I got sitting over here. So this is my routine lately. I like to sit in my big recliner. I got my drink. I got my food. And I'm about to watch Pretty Little Liars. I don't know if this looks appetizing, but it's really yummy. Just put it in the crock pot. I'll link the recipe below if I can remember. And y'all, I'm trying this barbecue sauce I got from Aldi. I've never tried it before, but let's see if it's good. I turned the light down because it was making a glare on the TV. This is the sauce, Carolina style barbecue sauce, light and tangy. I got this from Aldi. And I usually just go for ranch, y'all. I'm a ranch girl through and through. I do ranch on everything, but my ranch is out. And this is basically what we have in the fridge. So let's try some of this chicken in this. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, I'm so hungry. I really don't like to go the whole day eating as little as I have, but it's just been one of those days. Let's watch my show, get some food in my body, because if I'm going to do anything productive around here, I got to get some food in my body or I'm, I'm not doing shit. Lily is being so freaking sweet. He's been up here 
laying with me purring for the last 20 minutes. He just wants some doves from his mama. <laughs> but I ate all my food and I want to so badly to eat a bowl of cereal right now. Even though I literally just finished my food. And I think I will end up having a bowl, but I'm just going to put it off until the end of the night. Because if I sit here and keep eating and get super, super full, I'm probably not going to be very productive tonight. So I'm going to clean my house and do some things around here. And that will be my end of night treat. It's a bowl of great value honey bunches of oats with whole milk great value whole milk which is probably not that great of milk but it's the cheapest option by the way yeah i am drinking whole milk again i just started thinking about the whole almond milk thing and i still use almond milk but I think regular milk, whole milk is so good for you in so many ways. And it has so much more protein than almond milk. And I want to get more protein in me. So I decided I'm going back to the cow's milk, y'all. I'm drinking cow's milk again. And I would love to be able to get like a grass-fed, organic, whole milk. But everything is so expensive, as y'all know. So right now I'm just drinking the cheapest of the cheap, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, by the way, can you see? Let's see if it'll focus. Look how rough my thumb is looking, y'all. I have literally picked my skin completely off today. I don't know. Like somebody, can somebody help me? I cannot stop. I've done this my whole life. I picked the skin off my fingers. It's really the worst on my thumbs. And I just can't stop. I was over at uh, my in-laws. And it's so crazy. I'll just be sitting there talking to people. And I'll just be picking, 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 picking. And I just can't stop. It's, it's addicting. In a bad way. But... I'm about to add some ice to my coffee. I got a Dunkin' coffee earlier today, and I have not finished it. And it's 7 o'clock at night. But I don't give a fuck. I'm going to finish it. This is what we're working with from earlier today. So what I like to do is just water down. And there's no ice, so we're just going to add some ice. And splatter coffee everywhere cheers i am literally sitting on my floor and i have my laptop propped up on a box <laughs> i swear i know it seems like from my youtube shorts that i'm just so chaotic and a mess and I am a lot of the times, but also a lot of the times y'all don't see, I have my house together, it's clean, it's looking good. Who the fuck is calling me? Oh my god, it's my BFF. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm not going to answer right now. <laughs> I'm not trying to talk right now because then we'll sit here and we'll talk for 30 minutes, an hour, and I need to get shit done. So, but a lot of the time I have my house together and looking good, but on my channel, I like to show when it's not because I want to show real life and help people not feel bad if they don't have the perfect house 24 seven, because it's just not realistic. I'm tired of getting on social media and scrolling and just seeing these beautiful, you know, no clutter, no, you know, boxes on the floor, nothing on the counter, like no, just perfect houses. I can't take it. I can't. But I wanted to check my Amazon influencer thing. That's basically where, y'all know, if 
you have a creator that you like and they link something on Amazon. It's like an affiliate link and you get paid. And now that I've been doing YouTube shorts, I wanted to see if I'm making a little bit more money because usually I make about a dollar a month. I mean, I really make nothing off Amazon affiliates usually. But, okay, in the last 30 days, since I've been doing my YouTube shorts and posting links there, I have made $20.68. Yay! Oh my gosh, y'all. That's actually amazing. Because let me, let's do a custom date range and let's see what I've made all of 2024 so I can show y'all that I'm not kidding. So we're going to do January 1st, 2024 till now. Oh, they only let you do a date range of 90 days. Why? Okay, well, let's forget it. Forget it. I can't do it. But usually I, I literally make literally nothing. I don't even check it because I make nothing. So the fact that I've made $20.68 in the last 30 days is Y'all, oh, this high chair is seriously amazing for us because if you didn't know, well now you know, I live in a single wide trailer. Our space is very limited around here, so anything that saves some space and I can get out of the way, I love it. And when I posted this on my shorts, my YouTube shorts, everybody and their damn mama wanted to know about this high chair so I'll link it below but it is amazing because you literally just mash this red button and it folds into this little sleek position and it does stand up on its own so I'll just like lean it up against something I don't leave it here obviously but you can tuck it wherever and just get it out the way because we don't have a big enough house where I can just leave a high chair sitting out like my house is tiny y'all okay i got my kitchen decently cleaned up for the night it's not perfect because we have a lot of packages that are probably going to stay here for days and days and days and days until we put them away but my dishes are clean my counters are cleaned off so i'm happy with that earlier today i took the litter boxes and the litter mat that i have underneath i took them outside and washed them down with the hose because it had been a hot minute since i cleaned those boxes out y'all and it was just nasty so they're sitting on the porch because they've been drying and now it's officially dark outside and i do not like to step foot outside when it's freaking dark so watch my back if i don't come back I got murdered. I'm just stepping on the front porch. But I gotta get these litter boxes in because I don't need my cats pissing somewhere they don't need to piss, so. Oh, I hate going outside. Even though I'm literally going right on my porch, y'all. set up the litter box area so this is where their litter boxes stay and it really needed a good cleaning i mopped i disinfected i cleaned the boxes and i just gotta put them back which actually i lied i only cleaned one of the boxes because i always want to make sure there's one in here for them to use while the other one's drying out because y'all my cats will piss on my bed they have done it before they like to piss where they're not supposed to if they don't have a box so i mean i can't blame them but i wasn't trying to let that happen so here's the dirty one i'll have to take this one back out 
maybe tomorrow and clean it. Lord, y'all, I'm struggling. Oh, okay. This litter box, this litter box comes apart into pieces. So here's the tray, which I do like. These are probably my favorite litter boxes. They have the little cat, <laughs> or this is where they go in. And then I'll show you the top. Because I was looking for a box specifically that they could scratch their paws on once they get out. Because one thing about my cats is when they get out the box, they like to scratch and clean their paws off. So they go in the front and then they can come out the top. And this is like a scratching part that has holes. So when they scratch, the litter can go back into the box and not into the floor. Now that's not to say the litter does not get on the floor because it still does, but this helps a lot. And if y'all have ever wondered why I have these baby gates, because I have a baby gate right here and then a baby gate behind you. It's because my dogs like to come and get inside the litter boxes and eat the shit. So I have to block off the litter box area for my dogs. So this is basically the cat area because they have their boxes, their water fountain, and their food. And here, so the dogs can't get to any of it. Woo, almost slipped. <laughs> 